What's going on guys, Rounded Tic Tac here, and today we're checking out Hogwarts Legacy, and I just wanted to make this quick little video to let you guys know exactly how to solve these puzzles here at the door. Honestly, I'm not the smartest person in the world, and if you're looking at this video, you probably got stuck as well. So I just wanted to make this and explain exactly how to solve these little door puzzles because there's pretty good gear behind them. And honestly, it took me a few minutes to actually figure out and at one point I kind of was getting a little frustrated because it doesn't really tell you anything and it does something very unintuitive that took me a minute to figure it out. But once you figure it out, it's super easy to do. So I just wanted to make this video real quick to let you guys know exactly what it is. And I don't want to waste any time, so let's just get into it. These are the doors. They are hidden throughout the entire castle. I've found three, I believe, so far. I'm about six hours into the game and they have a specific puzzle on them the puzzle is no longer here because it's solved but i have a clip from my stream which i'm going to use to kind of show exactly how you solve these things if you're having a hard time so as you can see in this clip the problem on the door is 11 goat question mark equals 21. now normally this wouldn't be that unintuitive to solve you would figure out basically x which is the question mark the problem is is they do something very unintuitive on the door itself so let me show you if the answer is 11 goat question mark then we need to figure out what question mark is if we go into the game i think most people would do what i did which is start at the owl i'm assuming that's an owl and count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that sounds like it makes sense to me however it is not that simple i mean it is that simple the big question about this is that this is actually zero. This starts at zero and then it goes around like that for a total of nine, not 10. I mean, it's still 10, but you, you guys get what I'm saying. So if you count this as zero and you go all the way around, we need goat 11 for the question mark. 11 plus goat here is zero, one, two, goat is two. So now we know it's 11 plus two, that gives us 13. The other number we need for a total of 21 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we end up on spider. 8 plus 2 from goat plus the 11 gives us 21. And you solve the exact same way for the one below it, the double question mark as well. It being 0 through 9 really threw me for a loop. And like I said earlier, it did take me a few minutes to figure out exactly what it needed to change because I was getting a little frustrated that I could have sworn I had it right. So I just wanted to make this little video and check it out and show you guys exactly how to solve these doors. At least these are the beginning doors. I don't know if it changes later on in the game. Like I said, I'm only about six hours in, but if it does, let me know down in the comments below. And once I get there, maybe I'll make a part two to this video. Are you guys enjoying Hogwarts Legacy? I think it's actually fantastic. I'm really, really enjoying it. A little slow for my liking, but I wanted to put this video out there and help anybody I possibly can. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check out the game live, if you have any questions or you don't have enough time to play it as much as somebody who is lucky enough to stream it, stop by twitch.tv slash rounded tic tac. I would love to see you and help you out with anything you may need. I will see you guys in the next one. Tic tac out.